From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, heads up for this evening, June's full moon will rise tonight. It is nicknamed the strawberry moon, as this is the time of year when those strawberries tend to start ripening. It's not so called because the moon will look pink or red at all, but still it will be an impressive looking sight. So 942 or so this evening is when that moon will rise. Unfortunately, I don't know that we're going to have really good viewing conditions across our area. Cloud cover for the next several hours across the Treasure Valley will continue to increase as though temperatures, of course, start to decrease. We're in the mid 80s right now across the Treasure Valley. Beautifully warm June afternoon. You can see by midnight down into the 60s and then we'll start seeing a little more sunshine peak through tomorrow morning. And if you can get a break in the cloud cover, Mother Nature's flashlight, that full moon will be on full display for the next couple of evenings. Live look outside right now. Look at McCall, 71 degrees and blue sky over Payette Lake. Gorgeous up in the West Central Mountains. East Central Mountains over towards the Sawtooth. It is a little bit cloudier, a little bit stormier. You can see we have plenty of moisture still around those storms firing up once again of note here is a counterclockwise rotation of that moisture. You can see it on our three hour loop. That's because we have an area of low pressure just to our south. And of course we get that counterclockwise rotation around it. So it's grabbing that subtropical moisture and still pumping it our direction. We have seen storms moving from the uh, north down to the southwest. It's kind of an interesting pattern again because of that low pressure to our south. Some lightning strikes right outside Mountain Home right now heading right to the south right across across the I-84 corridor. So heads up if you're headed east from Boise in the next little bit, you might encounter some storm activity. Couple sprinkles popping up right around McCall and Cascade. Not a whole lot of action there necessarily. And these storms and showers will be just like in days past. They'll bubble up and fizzle out quickly. Hard to predict exactly where they'll hit, but the high terrain of the Central Mountains and the Idaho-Nevada border, the most likely spots to see that storm development. So big picture, our synoptic setup, if you will. There's that area of low pressure just to our south. Some models have it coming northward overnight tonight. Some models shift it more eastward, but either way, as we look at our future cast, you can see the swirl of that precipitation by tomorrow morning, and we may see a heavier rainfall uh, just south of Mountain Home, and then we'll continue to see that moisture come and go throughout the day. So some thunderstorms possible, maybe outside Jerome, West Central Mountains, Stanley. This is tomorrow evening. We may get a sprinkle or a storm in the Treasure Valley. It's not uh, out of the realm of possibility tomorrow afternoon. So if you have some plans outdoors tomorrow, bear that in mind. Monday, we should see a little more sunshine coming in for the Treasure Valley, which is the good news, but temperatures will also start to rise, so the heat will be on, especially by Tuesday. So 82 tomorrow in the Boise area, 86 on Monday with that mix of sun and clouds, slight chance of an isolated late day storm. Tuesday looks to be our most settled day of the extended period, and with more sunshine, those temperatures will really skyrocket up to 91 on Tuesday. Remember, we're normally at 77 for the first full week of June, so yes, abnormally warm, not record setting, but still something to be prepared for. And then we'll see temperatures slowly start to dip again. But those storm chances, Doug, persist each and every day through next weekend. So <laughs> if you love the storms, if you love the moisture in the air, then this forecast should once again make you a happy camper. Well, it was like that for the last two weeks. Of yep. May, so it makes sense that it's for the first week of June. Why too. not? Right? Why not? It's what we're used to. Yep. Maybe in July we can wash our cars. Maybe. <laughs> Give it a few more weeks. Just, just spray them down <laughs> at home. Use the garden hose and just yeah, get the dust off. Exactly right, right. right. Yeah, don't spend the money. Not yet. No, not that we shouldn't support our local car washes. <laughs> Stop talking, Doug.